on Malone and, and what piece of that puck, how you stopped it? Um, I don't know, I was, uh, I was looking for the puck for a while there, just scrambling around and uh, you know, last second I thought it was uh, the area, so I just tried to uh, do something I don't practice once in a while, you know, and uh, it worked out all right. Let me take you to another save then. That's the one on the Cavalier where he made a great play to put the puck between his skates and then all of a sudden it looked like your arm came from nowhere to make a save. Uh, yeah, listen, hot water once again, you know, a little bit, but, uh, you know, I was, I think, on my, uh, yeah, he made it pretty quick, going around my leg, and then uh, that's all I had left, you know, was my arm, and uh, I'm just going to it. Flower, on that save on the Cavalier, how do you, you just focusing on the puck there because when a guy makes a play like that, it's just not something you expect normally. So, how do you account for your ability to stay, on, you know, focused on the puck there when he's doing some the trickery like that? Um, no, I think it's something we I have to expect, you know, from uh, the players that have a lot of, lot of skills up front, you know, and, um, they won't do always commenting, you know, like this on the uh, good hands they'll pull off some moves. So I think they just got to try to be patient. You know, Mark, um, just the chance of flurry and MVP afterwards. I know it's only game one of the playoffs, but how important was it for you to, you know, continue this role? And what did you make of the crowd that was chanting your name? Uh, that was fun. You know, it was uh, all game long, right, up, right from the start. You know, the fans were really, lo really loud, and um, I think that's something we fought for all season to get home advantage. And, uh, why it's, uh, why it's important to get it.